I almost didn't believe the phone call when it came through from the White House. I thought this is one of my friends doing a spoof. <laughs> um, but, you know, it, it was it was surreal. And he said, you know, he's been a fan of the show for a while and it does well in America. And, um, and he's, you know, he was in, wanted to go to Alaska to champion all of his climate change ambitions. So it was a logical thing to plan a, you know, mini adventure together. Um, obviously, there's a lot of other factors compared to taking out, you know, just a, you know, Hollywood person or whatever. Suddenly you've got 60 Secret Service in tow <laughs> everywhere and helicopters buzzing around everywhere. But it was all part of it. And, and actually the man himself was just an incredibly humble, interested, enthusiastic, fun person. And, and as he said, just so grateful to be out of, out of his bubble, to be able to stretch your legs and see some of this wilderness close up. And it was a great privilege to be able to introduce him to that. But, uh, yeah, good for him. Now, that's what I find fascinating about it. If you've got this guy who's you know, got his finger on the, on the big buttons that, that make the world turn around, and, and here he is with you, you know, enjoying another side of life. Did, did you talk about politics at all? Did that come into it? Did it change the way you think about him, about politics in general? Uh, we talked about all of that sort of stuff, and, we, and it was a very unguarded, very honest time. And, um, and I think at the end of it, all of us were just like, wow, gosh, we've got something incredible there. Uh, but I'm going to kind of save all those stories for oh. when that show comes out. But um, you'll love it and hopefully be inspired by it. And I came back slightly kind of pinching myself thinking, gosh, did that really happen? So, um, yeah, a real, real honour. Did you get the President of the United States to drink his own wee? You'll have to wait for the show. <laughs> that is a <laughs> teaser and a half. Uh, can, I, can I read you a quote from his press secretary, Josh Ernest, who, who apparently told reporters on Air Force One, he says, I will not deny your suspicion that there may have been some suggestions put forward by the Bear Grylls team that were not approved by the Secret Service. C can you divulge anything? <laughs> oh, they love it, really. Well, that's what happens when I work with a team of ex-commandos. <laughs> Who uh, who love it all as well. So yeah, no, it was good fun, and it was a privilege to work alongside them. And I think they were sort of nervous at the start, but you know, once we saw each other working and got on with it, and they were, yeah, they were they were fun and did their job well, and we delivered them safe. My main thing was mm. I just want to keep them safe. You know, my family said to me before, and listen, don't hurt the president. <laughs> so I said to him at the end, I said to be honest, the thing I was most nervous about was keeping you know, make sure you didn't break a leg or something. So. Mission accomplished, he's safe, and, uh, and the show is strong. Well done, Bear. So the 60 Secret Servant agent, Secret Service agents never had to leave the bushes, did they? They don't, they don't have to come to protect the president at any point. Well, there's a whole host of stories around that, but we'll, we'll hold it. <laughs> oh, come on, one, just one. No. 